Whites here at home. Dark colors for the Eagles on the road. And there's Ace Baldwin Jr. And the A-10 player of the year last year. So efficient with the basketball driving for the first two. Leads this team in scoring at 18 and a half per game thus far. And he's got to go off. He and Phil will have to have career nights. Kern 6'6 Jr. Average about five points per game. Corner look. And overshot there from Jordan Latham. Just going straight up over the top. Off the inbounds, opportunity from deep for Thelwell. Can't stick it. He came in shooting over 40% from long range. Larry, a little breakdown, floater. Can't get it to go. Wahab trying to tap it back, but instead ends up in the midst of Minix. Well, we had a lingerie alert there. I mean, they, well, he shook his defender. Something nasty. Here's Clary. And the lead for Baldwin. He'll pull up from just beyond the foul line. He too a bit too strong. And the rebound pulled in by Khalil Thomas. I like Felwell right now in terms of how he's guarding Ace Baldwin. You can't take everything away from Ace. So they're going to give him a jump shot and kind of lay off. And maybe adjust if he gets hot. But he hasn't yet. Good spot underneath the lay-in there for Miles. Lathan patient and found his man. Yeah, so Morehead State settled down after that first turnover. Seemed to be getting quality looks at the bucket. There are eight seniors or grad students on this Eagles roster. So again, some experience. Dish and the flush there for Kirkland. Yeah, and, and what you're seeing here is that now you have to work so hard against the pressure, the shot clock is low. And you have to rush your shot. Yeah, down under three. Minix can't hit from deep. And Baldwin scrapes on the deck to pull it out. Two of six shooting early on for Moorhead. And Penn State at three of nine. Clary with the left hand. Can't get it to roll. He's not going to miss many of those. Rob Riley, Andy O'Brien, Anthony Burris. The full complement of officials on the floor tonight. There's Baldwin. Tough take and match. Leo O'Boyle called for that last foul at the other end. Now defending here against Minix on the inside. He goes underneath and lays it in. 18 at Alabama, 18 at Purdue, 19 the other night against Mercer. And Minix now, Eagles with a chance to take the lead here. Minix lets it fly from three. Can't get it. And Baldwin tracking back for the board. Baldwin flashing down the lane. Minix did enough to force it. You see the three-point shooting. Just one combined thus far for 10 on the inside. Tough take, and it goes. Four more head state in the basket there for Trent Scott to give the Eagles the lead. Oh, got away with the push there. Delwell got away with the push on Dunn. Warheads State, excuse me, Stephen, trying to extend this 7 0 run, and they have Thelwell from long range. 14 10. That's a big time shot. And what you're seeing now, the bitch that Warhead State is, in, is involved in this game. Nice cut. Puck Johnson flashing to the cup, and Baldwin finds him. Another ball handler along with Thelwell. Sometimes you feel like you need five point guards on the floor against this style of defense. Minix, final tap is there. That's Thomas flashing in. And see, that's a weakness when you play pressure defense. It's defensive rebounding. And Moorhead State has taken advantage of that here in the last couple possessions. It's a 12-2 run for the Eagles in the last three and change. Now ball on Moorhead State. Waha, he'll pull up from 17. Can't stick it. Plays right into what Preston Spradlin was telling his team. Just don't give up easy stuff. Try to force them to take shots out of their comfort zone. Just 26% shooting thus far for Penn State. And the long range shots falling for the Eagles. That's Thomas. Kern. Stymied on the baseline. Back for Clary. Has a seam floater. Got well, how was that? Phil Negro knuckleball. <laughs> Nice job by Trent Scott, staying low. Tough turnaround. Got another. Got the two guys from VCU and Kern and Baldwin that really understand the defensive system. Everybody else still 
trying to intake all of it as Baldwin hits the floater. And even more difficult to pass success against when you are sped up. And again, a team still shooting under 35% from the floor in this game. It seized control of it with their defense. Nice, tough make there from Eddie Ricks on the turnaround to kind of end that mini drought for Moorhead State. Corner three is good. Miles gives it up. And an easy walking lay for Baldwin. Oh, great block. Yeah, nice length there from Scott. See the switch and double. Scott kept the dribble alive. Better composure. Tough take and gets it to go. But look at Rahab on the hard hedge. Or if he can move like that and be that active defensively, Penn State's going to be a problem. Movement and activity with a seven-footer. Out high. Brown able to knock it down. So Jamil Brown played just 64 minutes all of last season. Looked strong in the season opener. Career high 20 points, six of eight from three against Delaware State. Knocks that down. And George Marshall able to surge back for two for the Eagles. George Marshall has the athleticism to, to play with these Penn State players. Once he gets in the open court, he's able to make some plays. And one of the few times Thelwell was able to make a pass in the center of the pressure. And break it. Another three knocked down for Penn State. Boy, some really positive things for Penn State here tonight. Including that. Another three. They made it all the way to the Big Ten title game and to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I thought Michael Shrewsbury just did an outstanding job with his team last season. Drive for Clary and one. And Penn State with its next date again. Texas A&M down at Disney coming up next week. Swarmed over by the Nittany Lion prowling defense. 29 turnovers forced, and Penn State mauls Moorhead State in route to the 23-point victory.